In the 1980s, a group of scientists predicted climate change with uncanny accuracy. And those scientists worked for Exxon. Many fossil fuel companies knew about climate change well before the general public did. Exxon's own scientists were researching and drawing conclusions about climate change as far back as 1977. But a recent review of dozens of internal Exxon documents showed that this company knew even more than you might expect. To understand what they knew and how they knew it, let's go back to 1977. This was an important moment in history. Scientists and government agencies were just starting to seriously study climate change. And now we have a new danger. Heat held in by the blanket of our atmosphere, what some have called the greenhouse effect. Scientists knew the basics. CO2 levels were rising and the planet would likely get warmer, but there were still a lot of unanswered questions. How predictable is the atmosphere? Do we know how it works? And Exxon, a major fossil fuel company with a skilled research department, decided to spend millions of dollars to answer the questions themselves. If you read historical documents from the time, you get the sense that Exxon scientists were genuinely interested in understanding climate change, and honestly, even a bit idealistic. There's this letter from a top company scientist where he envisions Exxon at the center of a global climate research program, quote, aimed at benefiting mankind. And Exxon also believed that good climate science would only help their business. You see, Exxon had been paying attention to another industry facing another environmental crisis. Just a few years prior, the world was starting to get anxious about the vanishing ozone layer. Certain chemicals found in aerosol sprays and refrigerators were damaging the part of the atmosphere that protects us from the sun's most harmful rays. And so the government decided to ban spray cans that used those chemicals. Exxon's top scientists saw the ban's impact on the chemical industry. And in 1979, they wrote, when Freon-based aerosol containers were banned, I think they mean banned, the chemical industry was also caught unprepared. If the industry had anticipated the problem, it could have been working on substitute propellants. In much the same way, Exxon thought that if it really understood the science behind climate change, it might help uncover solutions or nuances or new business opportunities that could help them in the long run. So they assembled a team of scientists. They built a high-tech climate lab on one of their oil tankers to help study CO2 in the ocean. And they invested in cutting-edge computer models to help predict future global temperatures. Exxon scientists' first climate models were published privately in 1982. Keep in mind this is still years before the general public was aware of climate change. Exxon predicted the climate would warm just under half a degree between 1980 and 2000. And by the early 2000s, they found the Earth could be warm enough to objectively detect climate change. In the following years, Exxon's climate predictions just got better and better. But by the end of the 1980s, climate change was starting to enter the public conversation. NASA scientist James Hansen famously warned Congress about climate change in 1988. And almost immediately, Exxon changed course. Less than two months after James Hansen's testimony, Exxon laid out its strategy in an internal memo. They instructed staff to emphasize the uncertainty in scientific conclusions regarding the potential enhanced greenhouse effect. Oh, that's another thing. Exxon was really trying to get the acronym PEG to catch on for climate change. They referenced PEG 22 times in a single document. Fortunately, they backed down on the whole PEG thing. But otherwise, for the next two decades, they stuck to that strategy of emphasizing climate uncertainty. Scientific evidence remains inconclusive as to whether human activities affect the global climate. All the while, Exxon scientists continued to study and predict climate change trends quietly in academic journals. So you have Exxon simultaneously calling climate science sheer speculation and 
also publishing peer-reviewed climate models showing an increasingly warmer world. So how good were those decades-old Exxon models? Recently, a group of researchers compared each Exxon climate model to real-world temperature records, scoring them from 0 to 100. And they found that, on average, Exxon's predictions were 72% accurate. In fact, one of Exxon's models was 99% accurate. More accurate than predictions from the world's top independent and government scientists at the time. This research adds to a story. For years, one of the best climate models in the world came from an oil company. And then they spent the next several decades discrediting it. 